Hi, I'm Phil from Little Robot Friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own robot from a do-it-yourself kit. First, consider watching this entire video before you start, so you're familiar with the process. If you're ready, this is what you'll find in a kit. One body PCB, one springy hairdo, two LED eyes, a speaker mouth, a plastic body cover, two battery clips, one foot PCB, a 10 pin connector, a 5 pin connector, five kinds of resistors, 30 in total, a base, a plastic foot cover, and screw. You'll also need two AAA batteries, which aren't included in the kit. Here are the tools you'll need. First, a soldering iron. We're using a fine tip, which is great for small electronics like this. Next, you'll need some solder. Ours is lead-free in a thin gauge. A pair of precise wire snips so we can trim right up against the boards. A pair of pliers to securely hold parts, especially if they get too hot. A Phillips head screwdriver. And some glue. Any glue that sets quickly will do just fine. And these are some optional tools you might find handy, like a magnifying glass to inspect that your solder points are solid and clean. Some removable tape can hold down parts while you're soldering. We like to roll them into these little loops. And a multimeter with a continuity test can alert you if any connections are crossed. Also, a vise or helping hands can make things easier. Okay, before we start on the kit, let's prepare the soldering iron. First, switch it on and let it warm up to a medium heat. Meanwhile, take some water and dampen a sponge or towel. And once the iron's heated up, clean off the tip. Next, melt a thin coat of solder onto it. This is called tinning, which helps keep your soldering iron from sticking. You can repeat this process throughout the kit. So let's make a new friend, starting with part A, the body PCB. Little robot friends come in a number of body shapes, but they all share the same circuit design. These holes are for the springy hairdo. These two sets are for the LED eyes. And the speaker mouth attaches here. On the back, the battery clips fit into these four holes, and the 10 pin connector to the foot PCB attaches here. Step 1 The springy hair. Start by threading the spring into the five holes. You might need to guide it with your fingernail, and be careful as the ends can be sharp. Now let's see your soldering skills. Tin the tip. Heat up the connection point and melt in some solder until the hole is filled up. Next flip over the body and snip any spring that's sticking out. And solder this end too. When the solder points look and feel solid, your robot's hair is done. Step 2. Installing the LED eyes. Look closely at the LED prongs. You'll notice that one is a bit longer than the others. This one is the ground, and it needs to go into the square hole. So start with that, and then carefully line up the other prongs to slide it in. To push it fully into place, you'll have to apply some force, along with a side-to-side -side motion. You might find it easier to pull on the LED, which we'll show you on the other eye. Repeat this step for the other eye. Again, the longest prong goes into the square hole. You can also pull on the LED with pliers using the same side-to-side -side action from behind. Now flip it onto its front, and let's solder the eyes from the back. We find it's easier to start by soldering one lead on each LED, and snipping the leads flush against the board. Now make sure to keep two prongs, you'll need these for the speaker mouth. Now that the prongs are out of the way, solder the remaining points. They're quite close together, so apply just enough solder as needed to avoid crossing any connections. If you want to be sure, switch on your multimeter and turn it to its continuity test. It will make a beep noise if it detects a complete circuit. So if your solder points are clean, it won't make a noise. However, if two points are accidentally touching, it'll beep at you. But don't worry, you can separate them with the tip of your soldering iron. What pretty eyes. Step 3 is the speaker mouth. The speaker has a magnet which can nudge itself around, so we like to use a loop of tape to secure it into place. You'll be adding two blobs of solder onto these copper connections, here and here. Be careful not to heat up the speaker too much, just touch it lightly. 
Next, take those two prongs you saved from the LED eyes. In case you don't have three hands, you might want to try this little trick. Add a small blob of solder to one end of each prong, and attach the prongs flat onto the speaker in an X formation. Once they're securely soldered, bend the prongs up, but be careful not to torque the speaker chip. Now add a dab of glue on the back, and thread the prongs through the two holes in the front, making sure the speaker is centered before you press it into place. Finally, fold over the prongs, melt solder into the holes, and snip the excess. Step 4 is the body cover. This piece is to insulate the LEDs from the battery clips, so they won't short each other out. First, trim away as much of the LED prongs as you can, as flat as possible. Next, apply a dab of glue to one side of the piece and line up the slots to these four holes. Press it into place and let it dry. Step 5 is for the battery clips. Start by securing down the robot body and place a battery clip into the two holes like so. You'll need a generous amount of solder to fill in these holes. For the top hole, you can approach it from the back or the top. This one's a little bit trickier to fill in, but you'll get it. Just a warning, these battery clips can get pretty hot, so consider holding them in place with pliers. Now repeat these steps for the other clip. After you've soldered all four, give these clips a yank. They shouldn't move or creak at all. If they feel loose, apply more solder until they feel solid. The body's done for now, so let's move on to part B, the foot PCB. This part has just three different components to solder, but it's very important to check that they're in the right orientation. You don't want your robot to be on backwards. The 10-pin connector goes in here. The 5-pin connector is soldered from underneath in these five holes, and each pair of these holes controls a different set of personality traits for the resistors. More on this later. Also, now is a good time to remove this quality control sticker. So let's start with step 6, the 10-pin connector. From the top, insert the straight prongs. The bend prongs should be pointing towards where the 5-pin and resistors will go. Now flip it over and solder one of the points first. We're doing one first to make sure the connector is sitting flat and straight. If it's not, melt up the solder and nudge it back into place. Now solder the rest of the connections from the bottom. Step 7 is for the 5-pin connector. Insert this piece from underneath. All you have to make sure is that the longer prongs are pointing down. Same as before, solder one point first, inspect that it's straight, and then finish the other points. Step 8 is for the personality resistors. Now before you solder, watch our separate video explaining the five different resistor values and the six personality traits that those control on the robot. If you've already picked your resistors and know where they should go, let's continue. Start by bending the resistor lead so they can slide into the two holes. Make sure to keep track of where they go so you end up with the combination you want. For these next three, be careful that the resistor's metal leads don't come in contact with the top of the five pin connector. If you want to be safe, you can snip the connector down flush beforehand. Next, tape the resistor so they don't fall out, and flip the board over. Solder each of the resistors into place. And snip them down flat. What a colorful personality. Step 9 is attaching the body to the feet. With the body facing towards the resistors, slide the body back onto the 10-pin connector. Before soldering, try to align the body so it's perpendicular with the foot. Start by soldering one point, and take one last look to make sure it's sitting straight. Then you can solder the remaining points from the back. Step 10, installing the base. All you need to do is place the robot so the screw and the connector holes line up. Step 11 is for the foot cover. This goes on the footboard on the back. 
This piece helps keep the batteries in place. And step 12 is the screw. Place it in the hole, and with your Phillips head screwdriver, fasten the robot to its base. Lastly is step 13, powering up your robot. Take your AAA batteries and insert them positive side down. And that's it. Make sure to check out our other videos on how to get the most out of your little robot friends. Thank you.